we could pick out any name at the Vietnam War Memorial, but Thomas Ryan Fleming was killed in March of 1968 in Vietnam. Mr. Fleming was a Lance Corporal in the United States Marine Corps, and he was KIA in Vietnam. I'm coming to you today from the Vietnam War Memorial, the wall as it is known, and you can see how long that it goes. And there are, I believe, 56,000. Now think of that number. It's shocking. It's stunning. 56,000 who gave their lives for this country in the ultimate act of heroism, in the ultimate act of patriotism, paying the price, paying the price. As we are here today in Washington and we look back at the Washington Monument with a beautiful blue sky, I think that in the last month, my videographer and I have gone to Gettysburg and there we saw many that laid down their lives in the Civil War fighting against the sin of slavery. In our modern world, there's slavery. Many of you are slaves to nicotine, to cigarettes. You're slaves to alcohol. You're slaves to drugs. You're slaves to porn. You're slaves to sin. Well, look, these men, like Brother Fleming, they gave their life and they paid the price for freedom and for liberty. Jesus gave his life and paid the price on the cross that we can be free. That he can, the blood of Jesus breaks every bondage. Oh, listen to me today. The cross breaks every curse. The blood of Jesus breaks every bondage. Jesus said, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. These people are patriots. They've got a raw deal. As we look at the wall today, they've got a raw deal. Look at this flag. Look at this flag. They died for America. They died for America. They died for America as patriots and heroes for the red, white, and blue. This flag means something. People today, they want to burn the flag. They want to denigrate the flag. They want to desecrate the flag. People today, they, 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 they take a knee when the national anthem is played. Look, you'll never see me doing that. When they play that song, the national anthem, I'll stand up and click my heels and I'll salute the red, white, and blue. Glory be to Almighty God. The flag means something. Freedom and liberty means something. These Vietnam vets, did y'all see my videos from the VA, the Veterans Administration, a week and a half ago? These Vietnam vets have got a raw deal. A lot of them came back with PTSD. But we didn't even know in the 60s and 70s what PTSD even it was, even in the 80s. And many of them are homeless, in homeless camps right here in D.C. They can't get the mental health care, and they're homeless. But look, Vietnam was just as important as World War II. It was just as important as World War II. It's not their fault what happened to them. They gave their life. So we ought to give our lives in honor and thanksgiving to our veterans. I just came back a few weeks ago from Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where that plane crashed. And those heroes gave their life. They said, let's roll. Well, these guys, they said, let's roll too in the rice paddies. Let's roll too. And they were willing to pay the ultimate price. Let's roll. What are you willing to pay the price for? What are you willing to pay the price for? Let's honor our veterans. Let's salute our veterans. Let's thank God for our, let's pray for the people in the military right now, defending America. Let's pray. I love you today from Washington, D.C., from the Vietnam War Memorial, thinking about Mr. Fleming and all the others who paid the ultimate price. This is Evangelist Mike Dial. I love you. God bless you.